Hello guys and welcome. I always do that when I start my videos. I always like move into the shop. Like just fucking hello guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, so today's video is going to be about neighbours and more specifically, bad neighbours. Like you watching this video right now, you have had a neighbour. In this video, we're going to be talking about and going through the most cringiest and annoying things that all our neighbours do. So first of all, they've got to be a gypsy. Like if your neighbour is not a gypsy, then you're living in some desert. Right, let's just get the mum out of the way. She's usually like 39 years old, called Wendy or Stacy. She has tattoos down her arm because she thinks she's experienced. I mean, the only thing she's experienced in really is dictionaries. Wait, what? What? I mean, let's be honest, she doesn't have a job, you know, Claire next door, whatever the fuck her name is. And if she so happens to have a job, it'll be working at the car boot sale on a cold Sunday morning. Another thing that's just so weird, they'll literally do a full-on investigation on us, set a timer for when we're about to go to bed, whatever time that may be. 10 o'clock, 11, 2 o'clock. Oh, but then that's when they'll play music. They'll play music at the exact time that we're going to go to sleep. Like, why do that? So why are you trying to have a party or rave now, you old bin? God, this subject matter just so annoys me. Like, I mean, I don't mean to come across as this negative or like hatred person, but I mean, come on, like it's facts. Like if you're watching this video, you're allowed to hate your neighbors. Like just fact, that's legalized by me. Oh my God, if you're just allowed to legally just give your neighbors the dirtiest backhand like <laughs> No, I'm joking. It's a joke. Like, do, don't do that. This is the thing that just mind boggles my head, if that's even a word. So why does Shelly next door all of a sudden have this big music production when she works on 95? Like, she's just a normal woman, but she'll have this high production music equipment next door. She'll blast the bass up and it'll, the, the bass is so loud. It rumbles through the ground, through the ocean, the, not the ocean, oh my God. Through the soil, up into your house. And now suddenly Shelly thinks she's metro booming. In addition, to this point is that the fact it's not normal music it's not radio music because i'll be all right with that i don't mind she literally must go on google and type in loud distorted bass because it's so loud like you can't hate me for what i'm saying this stuff is facts it makes my ears bleed i mean come on just go back to your scraggly sofa and watch emmerdale with, with your dog and when i mean dog i mean your husband because that's another thing let's move on to the dad now i mean the dad oh unreal unreal so you get beer bellies, yeah, I understand that, but then you get a living beach whale as a dad, that's what the dad is. The name is usually Derek or Bruce, and usually he's been to Mallorca twice, I think they know about Tan. For some reason as well, I don't get this, but they put on an accent, they might not even be from that part of London or whatever they may be in. They might not even be in London, but they put on this accent like Danny Dyer or Phil Mitchell. Alright, come on Stacey, pass me a f***ing beer, oh, come on, alright, alright mate, alright, all right, fighting, fighting geezer, pass me a beer. Get out my pub. It's completely beyond me, the fact that even though they're the bread wiener, as they say, if you don't know what that means, basically they're raking in the money for the family. Like, they have the money, but they still have that shitty Citroen or Ford KA outside the house that they're constantly working on. Like, just sell the car, you dumb person. Oh my God, I need to calm down. So normally the bad parenting results in the daughter, like the daughter's just one of them girls, I don't even need to explain. The one that's been around every single block doing you know what. And she has the future prospects and career of leaving the house at 16 and being pregnant. And she like, she like talks like this, I don't know why she talks like this, her mouth's like constantly open, like give me a fattened donut because it's so wide. I feel like I'm just going to get hate for this video, actually you know what, I don't care because it's facts, like they're just also, someone tell me why they have this seasonal thing. It's literally like Fortnite season. So, so Christmas, Halloween, Easter, Valentine's Day, whatever the season may be of where they're celebrating, they'll have a so-called barbecue, as they'll say. Yes, a barbecue. But what does that actually consist of? It's not a barbecue. There's no food there. They're getting some old wood from their broken shed and just putting it bunched up in a pole in the garden and lighting it up, spreading it on fire. The garden's literally like lit up. They're just burning stuff for the sake of it. You're ruining the vegetation. I mean, I know no one cares about vegetation, but you're ruining the vegetation. The carbon dioxide in the air, what are you doing? At this point, we can probably all relate to, and it's very awkward and cringy. So when you leave your door, when you go out your house, they so happen to be outside as well, and they make eye contact with you. Like, just don't do that. Why the fuck are you looking at me? I've never ever talked to you in my life, so why are you looking at me at this specific time? This is probably, it's very funny, and I guess it's not only positive, because it does make you laugh, but also it's very weird and freakish. But whoever it is next door, the dad, actually it might not even be the dad, it's just anyone. There's no time period for this. This will happen any point in the day, the morning, at night, or at 4.30 on a Tuesday. You'll just be sitting there in your house, reading the newspaper. Right, well, no one reads it. Right, I'll give a different example. You'll be scrolling through your Twitter, and then you'll just hear a noise. It's just, it's no words, no words at all come out of their mouth. It's just, it's just, ah, ah. Like, just, what is that? And it's just a noise, and it's 
just weird. That is the end of today's video. As you can tell, this was all a bit of a joke. I mean, a lot of the points I've said are obviously correct. At the end of the day, the video is for comedic and entertainment purposes, as they say. I don't know. I'm not really good at this YouTube thing. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and write in the comment section down below what you thought of this video, and in a bit. God, I hate my neighbours.